Hey guys, it's Humanoid Xeno889, and today I am going to be doing a, another NARF review, or at least for one of them. And that, this is the rival, the, uh, having a brain fart, can't think of it, but it is basically the successor to the Apollo, basically. You can... Yes, it's on safety. Um, you can swap out the charging handle from right to left via the switch here. Pull back. I prefer it on the left side because I'm right-handed. And also, this did not come with the blaster. I hot glued it on to hold a flashlight. If you're curious about the flashlight, just post comments down below and I'll show you in the next video or not. But... This is just a, just a flashlight mount that rigged up, and uh, and then this this is my modified Apollo from the last video. I put in an extra spring. I'm making put in an extra spring for hat well more like three fourths of an extra spring extra there sp I can't talk of an extra spring. And uh, yeah, and then at the end of the video, and then at the end of the well, the act. Uh, this isn't really a full blown review, like accuracy and all that. I you just got to take my word for it. But this and that, they both have great accuracy. They have now. Obviously, I can't show you because I'm in my room, not not in the outside of my room. But has great accuracy. Um, I have no idea what the FPS is because I do not have a. I don't have a thingamajig to, to, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a chronograph or anything like that, but this is an external review, no barrel lug, rival style, Picatinny rail, um, safety, mag release, I like the mag releases on, I really like the mag releases on these, on the rival, on the, on the Apollo, and, and, uh, it is bothering me. I need to go look. Rival Helios. That's what it is. This is the Rival Helios jam door. The jam door is a little small. Also, one thing I love about this is that now, if now in order to be able to open now in order to be able to open that and not have that in the way, you're gonna have to cock it all the way back like that. I do like that. That is awesome. Then you can just then you can just push the barrel forward slightly, and then just get your finger in now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um. Yeah, let's see. External overview of the Bible Helios. Now, this is the external overview of my modified Apollo. I did not take out any of the, well, I took out a few of the internals. Um, so, mag release. I'm not a big fan of the mag release on the Apollo. It, it, it's kind of weird. Instead of being able to hit it like that, it's kind of tricky. You gotta hit it like, a, like that to get it all the way in. Also, I, yes, I know, I know it's not a good idea to do this to any blaster, but, but sorry, but for some reason, the Apollo, as long as you don't go past this screw, as long, as long as it's not too far on the inside, you can prime the blaster. Now, if you have a screw in a dead center, the, the piece that goes back, the, uh, the plunger rod, is gonna get is gonna get stuck uh, stopped by the screw. So make sure you have it on the outside. So basically, I just have this, so it's more comfortable to shoulder. Basically, I also sanded and carved that out for more comfortable cheek rest. And uh, and then I also took out the piece that locks this. So 
if you want to, you could, you could, you could, um, charge it, and then do it again to get a second round in there and shoot it two shots. You can also do the same thing as the Apollo, I mean, as a uh, Helios. Now, if you don't have, now, if you do not, if you have not modified it, you can still put in a second round. All you gotta do is, so, just like the, just like the Helios, just like the Helios, when you prime it, you can't prime it again, unless you pull down on that thing right here, just pull down, and then you, and then you can just put in another round. Same thing with this. Obviously, a mine's modified, so I can just go like that. But if you don't have it modified, you can just pull down, chamber another round. On to the exciting stuff. Now, way to file, uh, for me at least, not that bad. Now, if I want to go really fast, I could go like this. Not bad, but if I want to be accurate. Not bad, but this thing is ten to more tricky. Oh, sorry, fine. I gotta show. I gotta do it. Right. Sometimes, even though that I did space screws out enough, sometimes it doesn't want to catch. Now, outside, this shoots literally twice as, well, almost twice as hard, and goes twice as far as the, as the Helios. But, unmodified, it's about the same. Helios might have a little better accuracy, but this, it moves so fast, there's no chance, I mean, at least if you're in an indoor range, there's no way, chance you're going to be able to dodge it. It literally shoots quite fast. Now, now, onto the really exciting part. At least for me. Hopefully you guys too. Now I already have two mags. Also, I got I got the limited edition. I mean well I got the special package which come well, um it so this Helios came with both of these mags and twenty uh and twenty four and twenty four rounds. And I'm gonna have one in my pocket here. I have one in my pocket here. And I'm gonna have one. Well, of course, I gotta make sure I have the white mag. For some reason, the second magazine that came with the Helios, it doesn't. It does that. So, I'm so just for simplicity, I'm gonna have that one enforced. Chamber the round. Actually, I should probably, I should probably, uh, have it unchambered. And this one in my pocket, the one that goes in nicely. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna do a reload as fast as I can. And, just like I did with, uh, just like I did with the North Recon Mach 2, as fast as I can. Yeah. Um, do I have a timer somewhere? Uh, hold on. Not plugged in. I can fix that. There we go. Alright, um Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna count down well Oh well, actually I could do uh let me grab a coral. Or dollar coin. So I'm gonna spin this like that. I'm gonna spin this lightly, not too hard, and then when it stops, as soon as it stops completely, I stop, okay? Alright. So so I gotta so I gotta charge it, shoot it, reload, charge it and shoot it again. Well, and then shoot it again. Here we go. I 
I messed that up. I almost pointed that in my face. Not a good idea. Here we go again. It was on safety. Got a jam. And I know why. Magazine didn't go in all the way. Because if this doesn't go in all the way, it'll pop out when I try and climb it. I need a screwdriver or something that's small. Oh, shit. Yeah. Jam cloud. Any damage to the ball? Nope. Make sure that's in. I'm gonna put the priming handle back in. Grab the other ball. Watch my little impression. <gasps> Shout out to Dead Drop PG though. Freaking hilarious. Here we go. Check. I'm just gonna have it primed already. I'm just gonna have it ready and primed so it's easier on me. Oh, then. Put it fall back. Almost jammed it. You know, I'm just going to do three, two, one. All right. Three, two, one. Let's see if I can repeat that. If I can find my other balls. That's what she said. Three, two, one. Not bad. Now, with practice, I could get a lot better. But that's going to have to do for now. Now on to the more difficult one. Now, the magazines work a lot better on this one, for some, it, both of them work, so it doesn't matter this time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Kind of shorter like that. What the hell? Where my balls go? That's what he said. <laughs> well, there's one. There's the other. Hallelujah.
three, two, one. Not bad. And that does it for this episode. Now, now I'm actually gonna try something and see if I can do it real quick. I'm gonna try it with the other one too. Did that wrong? Oh well, box. Now. Alright, one more time. doing it with more with the other one. I'm just having fun at this point. That is it for this episode, guys. Please, sh please share, like, and subscribe. See you guys next to the queen in the hive.